Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and implementation testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, we uh, took a look at uh, different types of social engineering and how uh, they are executed. So the next thing would be to go ahead and prevent uh, these things. So there are different types of things that you would want to know. But before that, you need to know that the weakest link in all your organization is not your firewall, intrusion detection system, cryptography or antivirus software. You are the weakest link in your computer security. People are mostly vulnerable more than the computers. And that is a famous dialogue uh, said by the Kevin Mitnick. So I'll go ahead with the ways to go ahead and prevent social engineering attack. The first and the most important would be the, the training uh, that is uh, user awareness. Users need to know uh, that which information they are giving out could be bad for business or for them and they need to know that they should not give out such information because that can be risky. After that we have policies. Employees un should not be allowed to divulge private information. This, this will prevent employees from being socially pressured or tricked into giving out some random information that can be uh, proved hazardous to the company. So and the lastly would be the third party test. That means a company should conduct some uh, ethical hacking or third party test with their company. Having a third party come to your company and attempt to attack in your own network, third party will attempt to glean information from employees using social engineering and it helps to detect the company problems that people have with the security. And finally the thing you need to know is that you need to be smart. Before transmitting personal information over the internet. You need to check whether the connection to the uh, connection is secure and you need to check that the URL that you are going ahead and accessing is correct. If you're unsure uh, if an email message is uh, not legitimate, you should contact the person or the company by another means to verify the same. And you always uh, need to be paranoid and aware when interacting with anything that needs protected. The smallest information could compromise what you're trying to protect and it can be very harmful. So these are the different ways of uh, preventing social engineering attacks. No matter how much uh, you know about hacking or not, you will not be able to go ahead and prevent these kind of attacks because they are quite or you can say they are much more properly targeted when you go ahead and do these kind of attacks. So uh, now enough of these, uh, uh, let's say enough of these theories and uh, now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some practical thing. Let's go ahead and open our Kali Linux system. We have it over here. Let's go ahead and uh, do some actual attacks. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do some practical uh, problems that will go ahead and help us gather much more information. So now we know the different types uh, of ha hacking that is social engineering, uh, technical, non-technical, creating fake accounts, phone calls and phishing without Kali Linux. Yeah. That is the one more part which I have not yet taught you, phishing without Kali and this is something that you can do even if you don't have Kali Linux. So before I proceed with that, I will teach you. So just in case if you don't have any of this uh, for if you're trying to go ahead and gain access to some random system, uh, let's say for example, the Gmail ID of any specific person and you don't have Kali Linux with you at that point of time, then what you could do is that you just need to have a computer with the internet connection and you could simply go ahead and do this simple thing as well. So I'll be just using my Chrome before I show you. It's quite far easier in Kali Linux, but uh, it's uh, yeah, also easier if you go ahead and try to do it something in a different way. So just go ahead and type Gmail and I already have that over here. And when you get this step, just go ahead and click right click, save as and save it in any of your random space and make sure that it is the gmail period html any random page uh, name period html and just click save and when you have it you need to go on to your folder so i'll just go in my folder and you can see you have your gmail period html you go ahead and right click and edit with any text editing file and go ahead and type control f over here and when you come over here so select action a c t i o n and hit enter and you have this first action just leave it as it is click find next and when you see this one over here equals to http service login go ahead and change over change this with your own ip address that's let's say for my ip address random ip address would be 192.168.1.1 
uh, let's say 68.23 any random IP address and this would be my IP address and I'll just go ahead and put this out and everything will be the same and uh, over here just instead of post go ahead and type get perfect so after you do these things just go ahead and save this in your file and send this uh, to uh, to the any party that you want to go ahead and hack it into and the, when you, the party goes ahead and tries to click on this link uh, your own fake page will be created with your own IP address or if you don't have an IP address the better uh, other better part would be instead of IP, IP address you can go ahead and create a random domain let me check if my net is still on so I'll just go ahead and create a random domain in case I believe my it is down if you uh, let me check so never mind so if you, you can just go ahead and create in random domain for let's say if for gmail you can type ggmail.com or any random which is uh, name which is almost similar to gmail and you can go ahead and check it over here as well uh, my net is not working else i would have showed you over here as well so these are different ways as to how you can go ahead and create fake uh, offline Facebook accounts or Gmail accounts that if you want to go ahead and uh, gather anyone else's information you can straight away go ahead and do that. Another method would be to go ahead and use Keylogger or remotely install Keylogger in the third party's computer but you need to have remote access to that or you need to have physical access to the computer or you can go ahead and send some kind of virus to that person and ask him to go ahead and uh, run let's say any mp3 file and ask him to go ahead and install so these are different ways of going ahead and gathering information without ethical uh, without using cal linux so that is one thing but now in this tutorial i'll be teaching you more about going ahead and gathering information using Kali linux so that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be starting with the main point as to how we can go ahead and gather information and different types of social engineering attacks through Kali linux